In my last video, I spent my diamonds on a diamond hoe. Today, I will be using Christopher Columbus tactics in order to take over a village. Let's get started. Based on the fact that I am stuck in a massive snowy biome, I can assume that the journey to find a village will be a long one. However, rather than gathering extra food for the journey, I choose to spend the next few minutes chopping down trees instead. At least when I starve to death, they will have the wood to build my coffin with. Anyway, it's night, so I go to bed one last time at the dirt house I only spent like three nights at anyway, and head off on my journey. I'll even play some adventurous music so that you guys feel inspired. I decide to place a boat on the ice to travel quicker, but unfortunately I crash into the nearby beach. This is like when I crashed my car in real life, except I wasn't able to get back onto the road due to the fact that my car was wrecked and I was unconscious. I make a pit stop to mine some pumpkins, but I have to stop what I'm doing in order to kill some really aggressive zombies that won't stop trying to touch me. This must be what Jonah Hill feels like all the time, except the opposite. Anyway, I approach a Mega Tyaga biome, which is pretty much just a regular Tyaga biome, but with the added bonuses of not being able to plant anything in the dirt and mossy cobblestone all over the ground. I am pretty sure Mojang meant this to be a cool addition to the game, but it is pretty much just an annoying part of the world at this point. I find an Enderman and try to trap him in a boat to kill him. Unfortunately, the only way to get him to walk toward me was to engage in premarital eye contact. Please don't tell my parents. I then walk around a tree to get a clear view of what I soon realize is a sunset, which is actually pretty annoying because I thought that it had already been night considering that I had been fighting mobs for the last five minutes. This is like the one time I went on a Tinder date and he turned out to be a woman. What a plot twist within a plot twist. Anyway, I spot a shipwreck in the distance and decide to check it out. I proceed to almost drown several times while trying to extract the resources, but it turns out to be worth it, as there are several diamonds as well as a treasure map in the chest. Whether this map will lead to Obama's last name, or just a simple treasure chest, we may never know. Actually, it was just a treasure chest, I found it pretty quickly. After I loot the treasure chest, I realize that I walked right over an abandoned nether portal. This would be extremely lucky, except for the fact that upon investigation, the nether portal does not have a chest, and other than that, these things are about as useful as a calculator in the hands of a redneck. I then realized that not only did I walk over the nether portal, but I also missed the ocean ruins right next to it. When I open the chest to reveal a fishing rod with mending, I get a rush of excitement that can only be rivaled by the feeling that an English teacher gets when she gets to say the n-word, for educational purposes of course. Anyway, I stumble across a group of sea turtles swimming in front of my boat. I start the process of eliminating them one by one, but before I can finish the first one off, I have a change of heart and choose to keep them alive. Master Ugwe shall live to see another day. I then spot another shipwreck that contains another treasure map. I proceed to follow the map when I spot yet another shipwreck that also contains a map, which, like every new Minecraft hardcore series ever, is exactly the same as the last one. I finally find a landmass that is not entirely a snow biome, so I decide to scout out the area for villages, which is what I have been trying to find in the first place. With a mountain as large as my ego, and a plains biome big enough to support at least one drug cartel, I think I have found my future home. Speaking of drug cartels, it has become night again, and I am immediately forced into action against a large group of zombies. Originally, I just wanted to kill the one wearing leather armor, but being the unstrategic motherfucker that I am, I end up having to maul the entire group. I continue traversing the plains in pursuit of a village when I finally spot one in the distance. It's not much, but in the words of Christopher Columbus before he peacefully settled in the Americas, I will treat the natives fairly as long as they do exactly as I say. Unfortunately, I also bring diseases, and I trigger a raid as soon as I walk into the village. This is actually pretty hilarious, because I am literally posing for a thumbnail when the raid hits. Anyway, I am faced with a choice. I must either run or fight. I have five armor bars, so I choose to fight. The battle starts off okay, as I immediately drop to one heart from one of those motherfuckers with the axes, and proceed to hide in a house as the Iron Golem acts as a meat shield. After I regenerate, I walk outside for the second wave of the raid when another one of the axe guys walks behind me, breaks my shield, and kills me. This was not actually my fault, as I went to block with my shield, one of the villagers walks in front of me and I accidentally went into the villager trading screen. Nevertheless, this is a hate crime and I will definitely be reporting this to someone who cares. In other words, I will not be reporting this incident. 
Also, thank you to this guy for my new skin. Subscribe.